respected General Secretary Xi Jinping, leaders, comrades, good morning. My name is Zhong Nanshan. I am a pulmonologist. I want to thank the party and the state sincerely for honoring the four of us. We see this as the full recognition from the party and the state to all the medical professionals in China. Since the start of the year, we have confronted the COVID-19 epidemic. All the medical professionals in China worked to resolutely implement the important instruction from General Secretary Xi Jinping to always put the people's lives and health first and foremost. We respected the facts and followed the science. We gave everything we've got to the battle to fight COVID-19. We overcame one obstacle after another in separating the viral strain in community, prevention and control, in supporting Hubei, in drawing on both Chinese and Western medicine, and in treating severe cases. Under the strong leadership of the CPC Central Committee, the entire nation worked as one. In just over one month time, we basically stopped the spread of the virus. In around three months time, we won a decisive victory in safeguarding Wuhan and Hubei. This major strategic outcome in stopping the outbreak earned the respect and admiration of the whole nation and the international community. We have beaten the current outbreak, but having said that, we must not lower our guard and we must finish the battle as we have begun. We must partner with Chinese and foreign medical professionals and continue to make progress in tracing the origin of the virus, stopping the transmission, rapid diagnostics, research and development on drugs and vaccines, and treating severe cases. And we must make an even bigger contribution to the global fight against COVID-19 and to building a global community of health for all. We must not forget why we chose this profession and what doctors are for. The people have entrusted us with their life and health. This is why we went into the medical profession. And we must protect their health and lives. And that is a mission of doctors and nurses. I have the great fortune of seeing the strengthening of China's medical sector, and I have seen the People's Republic's march from poverty and backwardness to strength and prosperity. I take immense pride in that. I'm grateful to the party and the people for giving me precious opportunities and these important tasks. We're in a great era. We must prove worthy of this great era. In the face of the honors and awards, we must always remember the expectation of the party and the people, always rally closely around the CPC Central Committee with Comrade Xi Jinping as the core. We must continue to revere, protect, and uphold life, and give everything we have got to the health of the whole nation and to realizing the Chinese dream of great national rejuvenation. In closing, I wish every success in the parties and states' cause, great strength and prosperity for our motherland, and health and well-being for our great people. Thank you.